Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all another instant pot recipe and this one is going to be for turkey chili. Of course, you can use beef if you wanted to. So that's your option. So let me jump straight into the recipe. Let me show you how easy this one is to put together. And even if you don't have an instant pot, you can do this in a crock pot or on your stove. So I'm gonna set the instant pot to saute. And next I'm going to go in with some oil. We're going to sear off the meat first. So I'm going to add in my minced meat. Now I did mince this myself because I do have a mincer. So you just want to let that go in there. Don't turn it right away. It will start to stick to the bottom of the pot. So once it gets across then you'll be able to turn it so I'm seasoning it with some salt and now I'm going to start turning it now remember as I said you can use beef you can use lamb you can use pork whatever you want to put in your chili whatever protein you would like to use feel free go ahead and do that so now while that is searing in there I'm going to add in my flavorings so I'm going to go in with my smoked paprika my chili powder Next goes in pimento flakes and this is from Caribbean flavors. You can find these in Trinidad or here at BDAC Produce City. You can get it at premium quality meats. In goes my Tex-Mex seasoning. And of course you guys can double and triple this recipe. In goes all purpose seasoning. Ground cumin. Now this is Jira that has not been roasted celery salt and now we're going to give that a mix to incorporate all of those seasonings into our meat you see how the meat is looking crumbly so you want it to cook in there for about five minutes with those seasonings after you'll go in with your chopped onions celery scallions or scythe, garlic and give that a mix. You want to sweat those aromatics in there. If you guys have fresh pimento peppers you can add it to this. It will taste amazing. Pimento peppers are so good in everything. Now this is a secret ingredient. I'm putting in some chopped eggplant or bygone as we say in Trinidad. It's going to melt away in there. It's going to add nutrition, nutritional value in there. The kids will not know that it's in there. You could also put some grated carrots if you wanted to and it melts down. You can barely see it once it starts to cook down. So it's just a fun way of hiding some veggies in there for the kids. Now to go in with our beans. I'm using chili beans and this is black chili beans. I'm using pinto beans. And of course you guys can use any beans you like. I'm just using the ones that we like. Next I'm going in with red kidney beans. You can add corn in here too if you like one can of fire roasted tomato that's been diced you could also roast your own tomatoes off now you want to give this a mix if you wanted to add some tomato paste in here for color you can do that also now i'm going to add in chicken stock just about a cup to a cup and a half Now I'm going to go in with a natto or ruku for color. And give that a mix. Now after it's been mixed in, we're going to cover this. And we're going to set it to slow cook. I'm actually setting it for one hour. My beans are really nice and soft, so it doesn't need a lot of time to cook. And make sure your vent is set to seal. 
and after it's finished this is what it would look like now as it cools it does thicken we like it a little more on the saucier side this was perfect for us at one hour if you're using raw beans you would want to leave it a couple of hours in that slow cooker to make sure that it's properly cooked and look you can't even see the bigan or the eggplant this was so amazing, so delicious, and I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, comment down below, let me know what you think. Look at the consistency of it. Perfect. Thank you all so much for joining me today. If you like what you see, I hope you subscribe and share this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.